Okay, uh, next speaker uh, supposed to be a Dr. Takahashi, uh, sorry, Takashi Hasegawa from Eikan Shoji Company. But uh, today his son is now here to present behalf of father. Okay, <laughs> and further now connecting by remote. The title of his presentation is The Air Tightness of a Large Building in Japan, Current Situation and the Proposal for the Future. Okay, for you to start, please. Uh, thank you for introducing us. But uh, firstly, uh, Takashi is not a doctor. He's not a researcher, nor a doctor. He is more like uh, uh, site worker, and he got some experience in uh, air tightness testing. So we'd like to share the experience and the knowledge in Japan. Uh, my video is okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, I'm Haruki Hasegawa from Eikan Shows Company. Takashi Hasegawa is my father, and he is the main presenter, but he could not come here today. So I'm here to speak in front of you on behalf of him, uh, while he is supporting to be participating online. I'm not sure he is listening here or not. Uh, he has been involved in... Mm, He has been involved in uh, air tightness testing business since 2002, including a uh, lead project and fire safety and uh, NBC related purpose. We would like to talk about air tightness of large buildings in Japan and make a simple proposal at the end of this presentation. Uh, as an introduction, I give you a real project which we participated. Uh, let me introduce this beautiful building, uh, head office of Meikan Ramud Corporation. Meikan Ramud is a major manufacturer of uh, cross laminate timber or CLT in Japan. They use their own product in this building gorgeously. The building received the commendation from uh, Architecture Institute of Japan, uh, 2022. Uh, uh, AIJ commented some reasons of commendation. Besides its excellent design, AIJ pointed out the building's high air tightness and the way to achieve the level. Uh, the comment says the process uh, on site audit, uh, on -site, site audit and uh, fix it repeatedly, and the test worked successfully and good enough to be seen as a role model for future projects. It might be the first time in its long history of the award, air tightness was highlighted in such a manner. Takashi participated in this project at the phase of shop drawing. He explained the importance of continuous air barrier, which is the main theme of building enclosure commissioning, and conducted air tightness test or broader test uh, using this type of equipment. I think it's the same type of the equipment uh, Dr. Uh, Walker explained. Making Ramud Corporation the head office is located in Okayama at uh, this point. It's a beautiful place, though the climate is not always comfortable. The graph shows the, uh, this graph, the highest and the lowest temperature in the area. In summer, it goes to uh, nearly 40 degrees C. Uh, it's in Fahrenheit, 104 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. 
And in winter, it's as low as minus 10 degrees C, uh, 14 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's cold in winter and hot in summer. The head office is, uh, is a two-story building. Homes one large space with an open central estate. Uh, total floor area is about a uh, thousand square meters. So it's not very large. Uh, when Takas joined this project at soap drawing phase, there was no aim to reach good air tightness. So in the specification, there is no word such as air barrier nor continuity of air barrier material. On the other hand, air barrier material and the products were going to be used as the original plan. That means they do not have to buy additional material or have to make a big change on design. On this photo, a uh, Tyvek sheet, which is air barrier material, uh, is combined to CLT board. There were some irregular parts on the walls and the roof. Uh, this part. Uh, those parts require precaution. Because the original plan did not aim air tightness goal, Three kinds of checking were conducted. Firstly, materials in the specification were checked if they were air barrier material or not. At sub drawing phase, so it was when Takas joined. If materials are not airtight, the building cannot be airtight from the first place. Second check is called pen check. At this process, architect of this project, Sato-san, and the project manager, Omura-san, made a plan of, of where and how to connect materials without gap. Uh, these pictures help the builders and subcontractors understand what to do on site. So the line is the air barrier. During the construction, they checked if details are made rightly as planned uh, at site and when necessary told the builders to fix them. Uh, Takashi joined the intermediate inspe inspection in 2019 October. The first test was taken on December 2019. Uh, since we don't have uh, standard testing standard for non-residential building in Japan. We use a United States standard. I think same standard Dr. Walker explained. The office is not red, so it took only two funds. Those uh, red things are funds. The principle of the test is simple. Pressurize or depressurize test area and measure the airflow rate at each pressure difference. The leakier the enclosure is, the more airflow you need. You can calculate airflow rate to reach 75 Pascal, then divide the airflow rate enclosure area to normalize and gain the unit, uh, cubic meter per hour at 75 Pascal per uh, Enclosure area. The goal was actually 90.1 requirement. It's uh, 7.2 or less. The result was 5.15, so it passed. Everybody was relieved. However, uh, while pressurizing, the enclosed some amount of uh, air leakage was found. Seeing from inside, uh, here, uh, air moved out through between window and wall, but seeing from outside, the air went out uh, from here, the gap between the flushing and the base. This is a place which would have to be sealed, this continuous part of air barrier, this part. 
after installing after installing flashing uh, here it was difficult to connect air barrier in good manner i think that's the reason of this leakage after the first test, uh, they put additional sealant into the gap between the flushing and the wall. The second test was conducted. Compared to first test, 90.2% uh, of leakage was reduced. So for the first test, uh, we used two fans and the leakage was reduced. So only one fan was required for the second test. Um, Uh, this graph compares the test result with major standard. The first test satisfied ASHRAE 9.1 requirement. So this red line is ASHRAE 90.1, and the first test is this level. Then second test was conducted and it passed the USSC protocol, which is used for uh, United States Army's buildings. Mm. However, considering passive house standard, passive house requirement is this level. There seems to be uh, some room for improvement. Making Ramud has released operational report that shows high uh, indoor, indoor environmental quality and they are happy about it. The company also claims that the office uses only one fourth of energy compared with normal building. Normal building is here and making uh, Ramud is here. The consumption includes heating, cooling, lighting, and etc. And please remember the climate in this area, hot summer and cold winter. I think this Reducing this amount is uh, something. Uh, so far, I was talking about data and fact. And on this slide, I'd love to speak hypothetically a bit. What if the air tightness goal had not been set and Pensac had not been conducted? I think it's difficult for the building to pass the ASHRAE level. So it might be somewhere above this deadline, then uh, with the Pentec and the uh, effort, it passed the ACRA level at the first test. And it is clear that uh, additional sealant after sealant, after, with uh, additional sealant, it passed the uh, USSC level. So, uh, to pass the USSC protocol, the, this effort was uh, required. More importantly, I'd love, to, love you to think if possible house level, this red line was possible or not. Uh, this photo is a present presentation conducted by a Rocky Mountain Institute researcher in Green Butte Council 2017. This graph explains what effort reduced the heat load in winter in a real project. It is a very impressive data. And I'd love to focus on data. The thing is, this graph brought us to make and damage project coincidentally. As long as I know, uh, air tightness testing is hardly conducted in commercial buildings, buildings in Japan. A few exceptions is lead or a well-related project and passive house buildings. Uh, Dr. Takemasa's research is also an exception. So it was normal for making damaged projects not to include air tightness testing as the first plan. The presentation in Green Beard was introduced in Japanese magazine, but it was not the main topic of the article. So it was just one sentence to mention about air tightness. The 
article quotes the presentation like uh, on the way to build a zero uh, energy building among the approaches with latest technologies, reducing air leakage, which is old school, worked best. Takashi happened to find the sentence and felt so happy that he went to see the author of the article. And the author was the project manager of making diamond. At that time, she did not know air tightness testing can be conducted in Japan. So she connected the making project and Takashi. It does not happen every day, does it? This graph means a lot to Takashi personally. So this graph tells us about the relationship between air tightness and heat load. Uh, the presentation project is Innovation Center of Rocky Mountain Institute. The building is in Colorado, snowy and cold. Uh, it's built in 2016 in Colorado and got some uh, certifications, but I'm not sure about this certification. However, I understand it is very airtight. Uh, I know the number is too small, but it's the uh, uh, air tightness level in uh, air change per hour. And it, the building is 0 0.3, 0 0.36, and the passive house requirement is 0 0.6 here, and this is a USSC requirement, and ASHRAE requirement is here. So this label is very airtight. Takashi sorted the graph on the photo to make this slide. The code building uh, here, in this case, means uh, ASHRAE level consumes 188 kilowatt. Infiltration, this orange part, consumes 108 kilowatt, 57% of whole. It alone is the largest portion. In CFM, ASHRAE, uh, air tightness requirement is 0 0.4. And this bar, uh, it is reduced to 0 0.05 CFM. Uh, when reducing air leakage from 0 0.4 to 0 0.05, total energy consumption drops significantly from here to this level. Uh, 47% of total. Takashi so far participated in eight projects, mainly these related. Most of the project requires non-disclosure agreement, so Takashi can't share the information much. We are very thankful that making Diamond allows us to share the, their building's information. Uh, from the experience, what Takas has learned is that achieving ASHRAE or uh, uh, USC requirement is not difficult when pen check is conducted properly. This table is the data of eight buildings we tested, all past uh, ASHRAE requirement, all past the USCE requirement. But who would have failed ASHRAE requirement without pen check? Japanese engineers seem to think building enclosure commissioning is a special technology or a totally new thing. What is building enclosure anyway? It is simply consists of uh, four barriers listed, uh, water barrier, air barrier, vapor barrier, and thermal barrier. Uh, according to US researcher, uh, I don't know how to pronounce his name, Jay Distribeck, just a bag. Thank you. Uh, according to Kim, <laughs> there is a <laughs> <Kim> for this. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't remember. 
he experienced it as uh, no builder is woken up by a phone call for air leakage in the midnight, but surely when water leaks. Uh, so water barrier comes stop. Then air and water, then air vapor thermal. Please note that air barrier is prior to vapor barrier and thermal barrier. From the point of birth, uh, water barrier is the oldest. Thermal barrier comes next in uh, 1930s. In 1950s, police sheet appeared to stop air leakage, which is vapor barrier also. It worked well in the day of fireplace and chimney, which pulls the air and moisture out of the walls. When fireplace is gone, uh, serious moisture-related problems occurred. Then uh, air barrier was made less in 1980s. A monumental paper was written by Ariel Kirouet. I'm not sure again. Uh, he separated air barrier from uh, air vapor barrier in definition. We now have the four barriers necessary for building enclosure commissioning. Commissioning of the building enclosure started 2005 and uh, improvement has been made until now. Uh, let me review making Ramed project see a point of improvement. There are four points to improve or uh, Takashi regrets about. Uh, firstly, this graph explains the uh, uh, relationship between ability and the cost to change something. The earlier you start, uh, you have more uh, ability and uh, less cost to change something and uh, vice versa. And uh, Takas participated to this project quite late. So he didn't have much ability to change and uh, it took more cost. Secondary, uh, material check and pen check are uh, important process. It might be better to take longer time. Thirdly, if you use new material, which is not included in ASHRAE list, which shows already tested products, the material, the materials should be tested to see if airtight or not. CLT is not uh, air barrier material, while polyvinyl board is. Takas did not know it until date. Takashi believes uh, there are certain amount of air leakage through this kind of surface because CLT uh, allows air to leak uh, through itself. Uh, at last, for US Army buildings, uh, air barrier plan is required at schematic design, apparently. Uh, air barrier plan is listed with floor plan and roof plan. It should be a good idea because estimates can include cost of air barrier material, uh, installation, and testing. You can also start Pentec earlier. Uh, considering this point, Takashi believes passive house requirement was quite achievable for making project. And it is not only for making project, but also for other project, no matter what type of, types of structure it is. So it might be go down to here. Uh, Takashi's proposal to Japanese is simple. Uh, let's study air barrier. You can find the uh, free study material online. It should be different from what Japanese people might imagine because it's something new for most of us. Uh, if you are interested and the air barrier is new for you, Takashi wants you, you to try Pentec first because pen check is a good place to start. While conducting pen check, uh, you will find gaps between materials not connected, not connected on drawings. 
which was invisible before you tried this process. Uh, if you want to learn more about air tightness, this website provides free articles, and you can find more professional course to proceed deeper, as Mr. Uh, Kiwatashi introduced in his pre presentation. Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you very much. We have no time for discussion, but uh, if you like one question. Okay, if you have any question, um, after the all question, uh, our presentation, we have a time for discussion. So thank you very much.